Greetings, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. I welcome you to today's gospel sharing. Our today's gospel reading has been taken from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Matthew chapter 17, verse 22 to 27. In this gospel, Jesus tells his disciples about his death, on how he's going to die, and they were perplexed and distressed. Jesus says, on the third day he will rise again, but the disciples are still hopeless, even though he's telling them he will be back again. We all feel bad when we hear that our loved one will die either because of sickness or because of some instances and circumstances we face in life. It is a terrifying thing to have a knowledge of a, death, of a death of someone who is beloved to us just like it was with the disciples of Jesus. We develop the fear and sometimes we become weak because knowing that we, we will no longer live with our beloved becomes a burden to bear. The disciples, though Jesus is promising them that he will be back, their hope is weakened and they become hopeless and perplexed. But this is not the case with Jesus, as I say, because he promises to come back to his beloved. That he will rise again, but his disciples are still doubting. Then the question is, how do you deal with our feelings, especially a feeling of loss? Losing someone we love is painful indeed, but knowing that we will meet them again is a good sign of which we have to have hope for, just as Jesus is telling his disciples, and they needed to be grateful. Now returning to Capernaum, Jesus and his disciples, they meet the tax collectors, and the tax collector is asking Peter if Jesus, his teacher, paid tax. And Peter responded with a yes. Yes, indeed. Jesus was obedient, even though he was godlike, even though he was both God and man. He lived. He was a man who was down to earth, not pampas, though he performed miracles in different ways, but he was humble and obedient. Jesus knew how to respect authorities, even though it was through the same authorities that had him crucified. Our freedom becomes more open and not offensive only when we learn from Jesus how to do justice. For example, he gives to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. Jesus had the powers to deny, not to pay tax, but he learned to be humble and obey authorities. And so it is the case with us. We have to be obedient to our presidents, our leaders in different institutions, in our school, in the case of our seminary, our rector and the lecturers, we need to obey them whenever necessary. As we have learned from Jesus, he tells Peter to go to the sea and cast a hook in the sea to get a shekel that he can pay for the tax of Jesus and himself. This should be a lesson for us. We learn to be obedient to render whatever necessary is to the authorities. It is my prayer, therefore, that the miracles Jesus performed should be an example also to us to lay hands, not only be obedient to authorities, but even we hear and listen to the cries of our brothers and sisters. We pray in the name of Christ that he gives us strength to carry on even though the authorities are the ones that praise us hard with different operations and suppression in many instances. Amen.